we continue graphing ellipses, all right? And again, we've established that an ellipse has a center and you uh, work outward from there, A to the right and left, B up and down. And the A and the B are once again in the general equation. So, and you'll notice here, fraction plus fraction equals one. That's kind of a thing to look for here. It would make sense to begin finding the center and that again was B, would be an ordered pair. And its X coordinate is the number being subtracted from X and you notice here there's not anything being subtracted from x, but isn't it actually, yes, zero. Remember, we also said, what does x have to be for that to equal zero? Zero itself. It, you could put x minus zero parentheses squared there. It's the same thing, isn't it? So, so it's zero. Similarly, y would be zero. So it looks like that center point is zero, zero which you might remember math nerds call the origin. So that would be that center green point there. And then we travel horizontally, A units. I always point out that the A is the denominator of the X fraction. X is horizontal, A is horizontal. So if A squared is 49, if A squared is 49, see A squared is the denominator of the X fraction. So if a squared is 49 and you square root both sides, a would equal plus or minus 7. And again, the plus 7 would be to the right and the minus 7 would be to the left. So from that center point, 7 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And would that ordered pair be 7, 0? x is 7, y is 0. Seven units this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I believe that ordered pair would be negative seven, zero, wouldn't it? Negative seven comma zero. And these are gonna be putting these boxes in their appropriate spots once we get to the discussion of vertices and co-vertices. All right, now B squared is the denominator of the Y fraction. And you hopefully recall with me that Y squared is the same thing as, you ready? Y squared over one, isn't it? So that denominator, B squared is one, and if we square root both sides, B would equal plus or minus one, wouldn't it? So we're gonna travel one unit up and down from the center, the plus one would be up one, the minus one would be down one. So from the center, up one, just one unit, wouldn't that be the ordered pair 0, 1, right? You plot a point, look at it. It's 0 on the x, 1 on the y. And the one down one unit would be 0, negative 1. And there you go. And then we can graph our ellipse, this elongated circle that's been kind of smashed a little bit. And now let's start talking about vertices and co-vertices. Recall that vertices are on the longer of the two axes, the major. And certainly seven is bigger than one. So didn't we travel, wouldn't these ones on the sides be the vertices? Negative seven, zero, as well as seven, zero. And then wouldn't the co-vertices be the up and down, which are zero, one, and zero, negative one? And there you go. So that was a pretty easy one. And I hope that wasn't a big deal. <laughs>